Greetings and salutations, my name is Comicfire, and welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. And today we're starting Chapter 10 after a uh, pretty much five month hiatus. Alright. <laughs> Boy, it's been such a long time since I've done something like this, and this is entirely in post commentary, so... If I seem a little off, it's because I've never, ever, ever, ever done this before. So it's time to get back to our guild training. A lot of morning pep! But what's going on here? Could Diglett be... confused? Could it be a legendary Pokémon? <laughs> Y'all getting mad as shit! <laughs> Dusknoir? Huh. Famous? Well, we're part of a famous guild, then. Uh, when it comes to post-commentary stuff, I've... Well, the whole LP, pretty much, I'm gonna just say it now. Because I'm not... I have nothing else to say right now. Uh, I'm going to be filming everything in advance. And, uh... Well, that's the whole point of post-commentary. <laughs> I'm going to leave the, uh, like, stuff that isn't in dungeons untouched when it comes to, uh, speeding up. Because... There's no need to speed it up. For the most part, the lag is bearable. In dungeons, though... Even then, the lag wasn't too unbearable, but I'm gonna speed that up just to lower the amount of time we spend in there, because there's not much I can talk about in dungeons, except, you know, for little moments of rage, but... I seem a little forced, so I'm gonna stop with that. <sighs> For the most part, it's like I'm re-watching my own video and just talking over it. I'm not used to it, I don't... It doesn't feel right, but it's gotta be... It's, I gotta do it for the rest of the LP, so, uh... <laughs> oh, well... I really... Oh, darn it, I should've uh, sped up the video first, because now I've gotta do some fancy tricks with audacity. <laughs> I think I'll go for a stroll in Treasure Town. That's how fancy Dusknoir is. He goes for strolls. Mm. And anyway, we're going to be taking on a mission. This whole thing is going to be an exercise in my editing prowess. Notice the game slowed down a bit when it came to uh, looking on the bulletin board. But overall, it wasn't too bad. The music actually sounds like it should a little bit. And so, I let it be. Now, this part's a little unforgivable, because I, uh... went to the left to look for Duskmar, but I couldn't find him. Because he simply isn't in this part. It may look like I'm just walking, but no, that's actually running. The lag in Treasure Town is pretty bad. Oh well, what are you going to do? This is the best I can do with my, uh... current setup. But overall, I thought it was pretty fun. We have to accept our mission first. Now, uh... I actually need to go back and speed this... speed up the commentary a bit, because, uh... Suit up the video a bit because my commentary is going to be a bit laggy. And then hold on just a second. Okay, now let's get back to the dungeon. As you can see, it's sped up all nice and nice, which I like. It kind of looks like it's the same as it would be on a regular system. Well, not a regular system. Quite a bit faster than I would on the actual DS, but. It's to a point where you can see everything. I like that. And it's to a point where, you know, it's not a laggy hunk of shit anymore. I'm actually really proud of that. Now here was, uh, I had an issue. I almost died here. I put on the sky blue bow, but I forgot that we were fighting an executor that may know some strong moves. So I had to make it a whiffer or else I was fucked. <laughs> Thankfully, I made it. 
and we got an egg. I don't know if we've gotten an egg before, but... It'll be care by the, by the chance of daycare, and it'll hatch eventually, and hey, then we'll get a new party member at level 1. And as you can see, Team Skull is gone! We're done with them. Where are we? <laughs> you know, actually... I ran three miles barefoot today. I was just gonna start with one. Lost track of time and pulled a Forrest Gump and went, you know, forever. I can already feel the blisters coming up. They, they hurt a lot. Not the smartest move I've ever done. But Team Skull's back. One way or another, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. That's not how the song actually goes. <laughs> Well, what's that gonna do? We're the new recruits. Technically, we're still under Bidoof. Taking us out, you may piss off the guild even more. And then get your butt kicked worse. It wasn't a particularly good plan, and I'm a little disappointed in Skank Tank. <laughs> I called him Skank Tank when that's not his actual name. Now, this part, I probably... I'm not gonna do that anymore. That whole saving thing. With the lag, it takes forever. And I did it once more in this episode, but I left it in for, uh... I don't know. I'm still lazy as shit. Smiles go for miles! <laughs> oh boy, I got a text. My, uh, girlfriend's also playing along. Well, not along. She's actually a lot further into the plot. I can't say exactly a far into the plot, because it's a major spoiler where she is, but... <laughs> it's kind of cool. I am no good at post-commentary. Well, actually, no, I probably would have been doing this in regular commentary. <laughs> anyway, now we're going to be heading for a bit more plot. And back into the laggy treasure town. Still not the worst thing I've ever experienced. But Dusknor, he has yellow rectangles coming out. No, they're not rectangles, actually. They're a bit, uh, the more angular. They're just <sighs> squares, quadrilaterals. Reminds me. It's summer. <laughs> that, oh my god, man! I just realized I'm not going to be going to any of my classes anymore. It didn't. The ending didn't really seem to come as you know a major thing. You know, it was just kind of went out with a whimper, not a bang. And I'm going to really miss some of my classmates. That's a bold faced lie. I hated every one of them. The, uh, little brothers. Oh, I wondered how that was going. Oh, if Delfnor says it's precious, it must have something to do with precious things. I almost ruined the plot there. <laughs> The first time I ever played the game, I thought Dusknor was going to be evil, but, you know, he seems like a good guy. Just a massive ghost-type Pokemon with a stomach, with a face coming out of its stomach. You know, it doesn't seem too trustworthy, but he seems to be a real polite guy. I really enjoy his company. Must be exceedingly rare. Oh yeah, I forgot, we're on a mission. But now we're on a mission, and it's both me to head. Ladies and gents, we're still alive by the skin of our Wait, why am I singing Megadeth? <laughs> and sort of like a soul singing, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, this episode's a lot of, uh, plot. 
not a whole lot of dungeoneering. I don't know what the hell I was trying to... Oh, yeah. I was trying to pause the recording because I didn't just want to have to speed through another dungeon, but for some reason it wouldn't let me pause the recording. So, I figured, oh, well, I'll just speed this up and we'll have a bit of a longer episode. We're going to take on the wretched Illumise. Or Illumise. Seriously, Battle Revolution pronounced it as Illumise. What kind of pronunciation is that? It sounds like they didn't translate it at all from Japanese texts. Did they? I don't know his Japanese name. You know, I actually could... I'm actually going to look it up right now, because there's nothing really showing in the uh, thing. We're just going through the drenched bluff again. Bulbapedia.bulbagarden.net Oh my god, I'm so excited for Pokemon Black and White 2. It's going to be so great. Alright, let's see. Illumise. His Japanese name was exactly the same. Cool. I didn't know. Alright, let's see. Today is the 13th. Pokemon Conquest ships on the 18th. I don't know if it's going to be coming till. This boss fight was much easier. I'm actually going to wait till the 20th to buy it because I'm a little. Since it's coming out on Monday, I'm afraid they're not going to have it. Like, it's just going to ship on the 18th. And they're not actually going to have it on the 18th. The same thing happened on a. Uh, 14th, 2000, no, not June 14th, February 14th, Valentine's Day 2011, I was at the mall with, uh, my at-the-time girlfriend, and, uh, I wanted to go buy Dragon Quest VI, but they didn't have it, they said, it's shipping tomorrow! Dinner. For some reason, that sound makes me so uncomfortable. Now we just received word of this, another time gear was stolen! Is it, uh, maybe the one of Fall Family? No, it wasn't. The stolen Kamge was not from Fall Band Lake, it's apparently from somewhere else. It would be extremely bad if a third were to be taken. You must never tell Edwin what you witnessed during our expedition. I cycle through the text way too fast, I can't keep up with it. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yay! Nom 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 nom. Back at Fogbound Lake. Nah. <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. We ain't going back to Fogbound Lake. Not till post game. Because I'm actually going through all the post game, because the post game is a second story. So, I can guarantee you post game content. And I actually might get back to the post game content of uh, Blue Rescue Team, so I uh, look forward to that. But then again, maybe not. <sighs> I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have trusted them. Soon after they left, another Pokemon would come. But it stole the time gear! I should have done it. I should have taken their memories when I had the chance. No one led me here. No one told me about the place. I've known about it for a long time. I have no quarrel with you, but I'm taking it with me. The third time gear. Which means there's only five, there's only two left. Hey, up and at him! It's morning, bitch! <laughs> and Loudrin said he didn't have a big mouth earlier. Didn't catch that. I'm new to the whole post commentary deal. I don't really know what to focus on. Because I'm not really looking at the screen a lot, because I've already looked at it once. So I don't want to look at it twice. So I'm just kind of looking everywhere in my room, holding a bunch of guitar picks, messing with some... I'm almost out of batteries. This thing lasted a while. How many were in here? There were a lot of batteries in here, but now there's only five left. If I ever actually play through more Xenoblade, I'm going to probably burn through the rest of these. What could it be? You got yourself some visitors! They're waiting at the guild entrance. Go see them, or we'll shoot you in the dick. Ah, it's the Azuril brothers. Sis. <laughs> I 
A water float? Why aren't you looking for that, Harley? I... You bum ditch. <laughs> this scrap of paper. This worthless piece of paper. Thanks, Squidward. I needed something to throw my gum away. Ugh! But knowing how weak and puny you are, but you can't reach us, cha ha ha! Who actually writes how they laugh? Well, I do when I'm texting sometimes, but. But the water flow's important to us. That's so sad. Well, what are we supposed to do? We're carrying around an electri uh, water type ourselves. This actually, this part of the game is actually a, a drastic uh, difficulty spike. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it. Anyway, that's it for this episode. See you guys next time.